and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play the Talos Principle. Uh, last time we were really, really stuck on um, a puzzle in World B Hub 5 called uh, Alley of the Pressure Waves. No, Pressure Plates, excuse me. Uh, so today we're gonna continue, see if we can um, make some, prog some progress on the other puzzles in that area. Um, if you joined early, you might have noticed I uh, have uh, some new, um, a new background image and also some music for my stream starting screen. Um, the background image is made by my uh, good friend Evan Alanda called DayFXX online. Uh, and the music is made by Solar Hawk, a uh, musician and streamer on Twitch. So thank you bo both very much for letting me use those. Uh, I'm really happy about that. Uh, if and when we take a break, uh, you'll get to listen to some excellent elevator music. <laughs> uh, and I also have some uh, music for my end st uh, stream screen, which is also new. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get back into it. So my plan is to, uh, as I said, do some other puzzles uh, in that area. To see if I can learn some new game mechanics, because uh, the last um, puzzle it uh, really threw me for a loop. Uh, so let's see, back into uh, Hub 5. So let's see. I don't exactly remember uh, where it was, let's just find the we struggle with first. I think it's this one. Yeah, I seem to recognize this area. Oh yeah, this is it. Alley of the pressure plates. So let's hold off with that and um, go as always clockwise and try some other puzzles first. This is behind the curtain. So only thing to do is put this on the pressure plate. Ah, there's the sigil. Okay. Let's see, we can go in here. We have a fan. There's another fan active somewhere. Uh, let's see, can't do anything here at the moment. Let's go in here. All right, let's see. Can we power this? Seems like we can. Good, we have another box. Now let's see, just for fun, could we also have used uh, that source, maybe? It seems we do need this one as well, maybe? Well, we need the blue source now, which is there, of course, okay. So well, we can't get to this blue source immediately. So let's see, what do we need? Right, now we have a few more items to play with. Hello, Warden. Question, will you ever play Serious Sam on stream? Uh, perhaps I might. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I uh, I have a uh, list of uh, indie games for the PlayStation I would like to finish first. The short games, so um, I'll be able to finish them in a relatively short while. But um, yeah, I do really want to uh, have a streaming setup where I can use a, a computer to play computer games. But uh, I have a really slow laptop right now, <laughs> so that'll have to wait, unfortunately. Also, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Happy Valentine's. Yeah, thanks to you as well. Uh, so let's see. Put my thinking cap back on. Uh, let's 
see. Oh yeah. Using the box to hold uh, hold it open. Activate this. Uh, oh, that activates the fan. Okay. So let's see. We have a ladder up in case we fall. So do we need to hold both open to keep that open? Yes, it seems that way. Ah, and we can only uh, we can carry stuff up the ladder. Uh, Warden, you're good. Uh, you was. You were happy and a bit sad? Oh, um, why were you happy and why were you sad? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, also, why do we need that barrier open? That's the question. Let's see. Doesn't seem like we can redirect anything from here, at least not yet, anyway. But let's see, we can detach the fan, of course. Um, I don't know why we would. Um, let's think about this. I wonder, can we put the fan there? And also... No, we bump it out of the way immediately. You're very sad. You're a bit sad because you fi failed your finals from a survey instrument, just a bit. Because almost all of you failed. Ah, okay. Well, I'm sad to hear. Yeah, that's no fun. Uh, so I'm guessing survey instruments, that's a um, subject you take in school. And you're happy because your date went well. Oh, that's good news. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm really happy for you. Uh, we can, of course, carry boxes uh, on the fan. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, now, let's see. So we can, we, we do have line of sight to the red um, uh, power source. Yeah, Warden Survey Instruments is a subject uh, in college. Okay. Uh, what's it called in Croatian? I might not know the words, but I'm curious. It's called Geodetski Instrumenti. Okay. Well, so geodesic, I guess. It would be in English. Now, wait a minute. I can grab stuff from here. No, I can't. Then what the hell is the point of this? Wait, was it a mistake to bring this one uh, down with me? <laughs> yeah, we need both to be active, so... Well, no, it wasn't a mistake because I can always grab it, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Why did I jump down? It's probably programmed that way. No, that would be stupid. It pushes, it's like it pushes me out of the barrier when I try to grab it again. So I think that was a mistake, I'll reset it. Uh, yeah, Geodesi, yeah. I don't know too much about that, but I, th I think isn't a geodesic line on the Earth, isn't that just a line on the, uh, well, on a given great circle, like the um, shortest distance from two points on the sphere? That connector looks like a pentagonal prism we use in fieldwork. Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, it's a subject in surveying, I guess. Yeah, see, when, when I try to grab stuff that's near a um, barrier, even though, well, regardless of whether it's closed or not, it seems to push me out of the way, you see? That's what's, what happened when I tried to grab the box earlier. Warden, uh, 
Its use to deflect signals from measured point back to the standing point of the instrument. I see. Now, I'm a little bit confused now. Um, well, of course. Wait, can't I just open... Uh, Oh no, that's a problem. I need two connectors, of course. Right. Or, well... Why do we have two... Two red... Um, let's see. Why do we have two red power sources here? That confuses me a little bit. So we definitely need to hold this open at some point, maybe not right now, to get the blue power source uh, to the sigil door, but um, yeah, maybe we don't need it right now. For now we could use the connector to power the fan, which gets access to this room, which lets us hold open the uh, barrier here, for reasons unknown, but we might as well open it because we can't... We can't bring these two items outside anyway, so let's do that. Seems like a worthwhile thing to do. So we'll hold open this barrier. Use the power source, power the fan. Jump up. Jump down. Open the barrier, because why not? Well, now actually we we can just bring the fan with us until we maybe need to get up there again. There's another fan. Maybe it's re related to a star, probably. But yeah, this is a kind of small area, so there's not too many moving parts here, fortunately. So we could use the fan just to simply hold something open this pressure plate for instance um, but then what the hell is the point of even opening this door the only thing we gained from this room really is the fact. so let's plonk it down on a random plate now we have some more tools to play with No, of course, yeah, 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 I see. Uh, do need... You need uh, the second connector. That's the thing. We do need the second connector. Well, uh, don't I have enough? I can... Simply exchange uh, these two. I mean, this will probably just uh, force me outside again, but let's give it a try. Wait, I can't grab that one. Okay. Why not? I could grab a box, but not the connector. That's strange. Let's see. But this is very weird. See, I can grab... Well, I could grab it now and put it up here, I think. But the problem is, of course, the gate will close, right? Do we simply need a third box up here? I'm guessing that will... well... It should work, right?
Yeah, why not? I hope this will work. See, I get pushed out. That's so stupid. I mean, that must be a bug, right? Alright, um, let's see. Assuming that's the solution. Do I have two connectors? I bring the second connector with me outside. Ah, but then I can't... Well, I can I can place a second connector here while I open this door, but then I can't I can't bring it inside with me again. No, okay, I'm guessing that's probably no solution then. Um, yeah, I think it might just be a bug. I'm hoping so. Uh, Warren, you're lost. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to solve the puzzle. <laughs> So, I thought bringing just one box with me in here could work, because then I could... Let's see, I can... I can well, I can show, show you now, I've so fucked the puzzle. <laughs> but, um, in any case, I thought I could just grab the... Um, well, imagine the box on top here isn't here. Then I thought I could grab the um, connector from the top, uh, because I can grab a, a box uh, on top. But not the connector, <laughs> so I need an, an extra box. But then, if I try to pick this one up, I get pushed back down, and I can't uh, carry stuff up the ladder. So, um, hmm. I mean, I'm hoping it isn't a bug. It, it would surprise me. This game is uh, 10 years old, so if it was a bug, it would have been patched, right? But um, let's reset the puzzle. Okay, so, from the top, red power source, red, well, first of all, uh, we need a cube, which is in here, let's rethink this, hold the door open, uh, open this barrier, Get ourselves another cube. Um, hold it open. Power the fan. So let's see. I definitely do need two connectors for this puzzle. One for the red power source and one for the blue. To be able, to, uh, okay. So I need a red, I need a red connector to open the barrier to the blue power source, right? And then, in, and then I need the second connector to connect the blue power source to the sigil door. And there are no jammers in this puzzle, I think. So, but let's see. The problem now is these two things are too low to be able to grab. So I need to put the connector on top of another box. That wasn't enough, apparently. But let's see, let's, let's give it a think here. Um, I guess... I guess the only thing that confuses me a little bit is... The second red power source. Uh, let's see, I'm was gonna go outside and check. Yeah, we have a fan, we have, or we have fans, boxes, and connectors. No, no jammers, right? So I'm not in danger of missing a jammer that we could use. And there's the sigil, seems to be the only thing in there, I think. Looks like it. Need blue power. The blue power is here. We need to open this with a red uh, power source. So I'm pretty sure we definitely need two connectors. So for this area we have a lot of 
wiggle room to play with. We have two uh, boxes we can use. And the connector has to stay put to hold the gate open. And to power the fan for that matter. Uh, and in any case we do need the power source outside. Um, when we're about finished with the puzzle. So... My thinking was to bring one box inside here. So if I take it, if I take anything with me into this room, it's gone forever. I can't use it again because I can't get it out. And this just seems to me that it, it's a bug. This thing. Let's see. Let's give it. Well, there's no reason to try it again. We know what happens. But let's say I bring one box inside. I can't get the letter out. If I bring two boxes inside, then I should be able to, except for the uh, what I think must be a bug, really. Because the barrier is open, but the game pushes me out when I try to grab whatever object I'm trying to grab from the top. But if I grab one box, I have one left to play with. So let's say I have two connectors to play with, then... Well, if I have two... I need two connectors and one box, right? And then... Yeah, then, then I'm done. I need two connectors and one box. Yeah, I th I'm pretty confident. Or wait, maybe just... No, maybe just two connectors, because I could place one connector here, and I have line of sight from the blue power source to the blue socket. Ah, oh, no, maybe the uh, maybe the lasers would collide actually. But in any case, bringing one box inside with me seems like a necessity because I have to, I absolutely have to get the second connector. So. I mean, this seems like a logical thing, right? Well, uh, could I maybe try to pre place it here? That would be stupid if this works. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me try once more with the second box. This most definitely uh, soft lock me, but. Place it here. Go up, try to grab it. Try to grab it from really far away then. Yeah, see, I get pu pushed out. Let me try something stupid. Let me try the other way around. I doubt it'll... Uh, I doubt this will help, but... Yeah, I've just got pushed out. Yeah, that's silly. And I can't climb. Hmm. Ah. <coughs> It just bugs me because, like, it seems like just a glitch, but again, it would surprise me if it's a glitch. But, uh, okay, um, let's put this puzzle on, annoying as that is. Let's move on. We have fans, boxes, and connectors. The four chambers of flying. Oh, huh. This is the other way around. Standing on the pressure plate closes the, the gate. Ah, but it also activates these fans. Okay. What about this? Same thing. Okay, so we can we have ladders for ourselves. Okay, good. Ah, okay, I can place this here and then push it where I want, right? Oh, that's not the flying there, okay. But this is a weird puzzle. <laughs> ah, because it's a little bit slanted, I see. Okay, okay. Got it.
Okay, it's just a way for me to reset. I see. Okay. And what about this one? Ah! That was a little bit helpful. Now we have a jammer. Right now I can use the jammer to um, well at least at least get this connector. Uh, where was the red power or a red socket? I mean, now I have a red power if I need it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I probably need to yeet it somewhere. Okay, this room is empty. We're done here, I guess. I can bring the box outside. There's the red socket. And that's actually to the sigil door. I'm gonna jump over here again, see what we have. Well, basically, just the sigil. Okay. This puts me back here. Oh, some QR codes I almost missed. I'm getting better at this. I figured this one out in minutes, but where is it all leading? I work, I rest, I work, but to what end? Schmo. We are born and die and live again. This eternal cycle must be the nature of existence. Life is merely repeated suffering. Samsara. Very buddhistic an eternal cycle is another name for a prison but you must understand the cycle before you can break it for it is possible to escape and yet remain a prisoner or to break the cycle by breaking yourself this was the fate of the ghost that haunts this world oh he's talking about elohim the shepherd okay interesting but let's see we definitely need two connectors right Well, in any case, we can now use the jammer to jam and activate this. Oh, right. <laughs> and we can't use the jammer to open the... No, we can. Wait. Was that intentional? Yeah, maybe this huh, maybe this puzzle is just throwing us for a loop. We're thinking about uh, what we have to do. Because I didn't see any other creature, right? Yeah, this must be the solution. Great. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Let's go back to the beginning, check out uh, how many puzzles we've done and what we have left. Uh, my reigning says two. Yeah, and we right and the star on the top of the obelisk we have left. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's try now this um, alley of pressure plates. See if we can finally crack it. Uh, I'm assuming this puzzle, I forget the name now. I'm assuming this puzzle uh, is just bugged. Because I, I seem to have solved it, but um, yeah, whatever, we'll come back to it. Uh, for now, we need a blue power source to activate the fan, yeah, and it just sends us to the top, I guess. So we need a blue power source in, in well, either inside a puzzle room or else we need to find a connector outside the puzzle. So yeah, let's go give the uh, alleyway of pressure plates another try. Let's see if maybe we can break it this time. Or alley of the pressure plates, that's it. 
So let's see. Um, I don't think I've learned anything particularly new. Um, but let's recap. Uh, we can place a uh, cube and a connector up here to get ourselves to the blue power source here uh, by cleverly mani manipulating um, our phantom self and phantom items, right? So we can start a recording. Wait, maybe I'm stupid, but I think I might have it this time. Uh, because I should just be able to... Well, yeah, I remember now what the problem is. Yeah, we have the extra barrier. Uh -huh. I can give myself about 30 seconds here. And then stop the recording. Or well, rather play it back, right? Oh yeah, I needed to give myself more time. So record, hold this open for a little bit before I start messing around. I seem to remember 20 seconds was enough. There we go. Well, what am I doing? There we go. Hold this open for a while. Maybe until the 40 seconds mark. Right now I'm not really thinking logically about this, I'm just trying stuff out. Let's see uh, if I can remind myself a little bit about what all this does. Oh damn it. I need to collect everything. Oh yeah, I was too late. I think 20 seconds is enough. I just need to uh, use the time effectively, not mess up. And I think last time I pretty thoroughly explored this area and there's, there's no other tools we're missing, I think. So let's see, 20 seconds about. Grab it, hold this one open for ourselves until the 40 second mark. Yeah, this puzzle uh, is really throwing me for a loop. Now let's see, play it back. Let's get everything inside. And this time, remember to connect everything. Yeah, this is the problem we have. And now I'm soft locked. And the game should help me to hold triangle to reset. There we go. There the game understands that we've uh, soft locked. Uh, but I mean, this kind of setup seems to be right. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely do need to hold the uh, sigil door open. 
goes without saying. We don't have jammers, so we can't use any jammers. And we have a gate between the uh, power source uh, socket, which means we definitely have to keep it in the air like this. So, the problem is the damn extra. Um, them extra um, tool we need or maybe our phantom selves to hold the second to last door open yeah this is what we struggled with last time as well so I'm tempted to put this on pause and get on with the game maybe come back to the puzzle later uh, but first, I do want to check if we can maybe get the star. <clears throat> Which side was the... Yeah, here we are. Alright, we need the fan also to be able to do this. But this seems we should be... I mean, since the socket is here, we have a line of sight like about 180 degrees like this. Roughly. So we could get a levitating um, blue connector from maybe this puzzle room. The four chambers of flying. We don't have any fans going directly upwards in this puzzle, right? So <coughs> probably not this one. What about this one? Me, myself, and two jammers. Yeah, no, we didn't have any fans in this puzzle. Well, I guess it tells us. Yeah, just uh, recording the device. But we have jammers. Well, that's weird. We have a jammer, but the only icon is the recording device. That's strange. I thought all the puzzles were... Maybe the puzzle um, indicators are lying to you. Maybe you potentially have other tools available. Yeah, that might also be a thing. Well, maybe it's just an oversight by the developers. But again, I mean, it surprises me because the game is 10 years old. Let's see, here we have fans. Slightly elevated sigil. Yeah, I remember this one. And here we have a, a blue stuff going on. Yeah, maybe this is it. Uh, let's try to remind ourselves what this is all about. Well, I don't have any tools. <laughs> what is this? Strange. I might have just missed it somewhere. What? Now I don't understand how I solved this puzzle to begin with. What? This is weird. I'm, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I might be blind. Uh -huh. um, get in here. Now, let's see. Uh, I do need to be able to select, where is the obelisk again? There. Because I do need to be able to select it, right? So we're definitely high enough here. No, we're not. We're not even close. Well, maybe with the box, the uh, connector will get high enough. Although I doubt it somehow. I do remember we had to uh, this puzzle was slightly tricky but only slightly okay. 
Well, I mean, okay, e even if the connector is high enough, then I'm not high enough to be able to select the uh, the um, obelisk socket, so that's probably not it either. Well, I don't think this puzzle room has line of sight. Well, we'll uh, hold off on the star. Um, so let's see this hub 5. World B hub 5. Yeah, we'll uh, we we I think we've tried enough on this. Uh, so we'll uh, call it an episode uh, here. Uh, Warden, you're back from lurking. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I was just about to, to uh, end uh, this uh, section and start the next hub. Uh, irritatingly, this is the first time we've, we've had to left uh, we'll, we've had to leave puzzles behind. Uh, the first one, the alley the alley of the pr pressure plates, uh, I just can't figure out for now. Uh, the second one, uh, I forget the name. Um, I can't finish because it it just looks like a bug to me or a glitch. It might not be, but um, I'm putting it on hold for now, and we're missing a star in this uh, area. Uh, so yeah, I'll call it an uh, episode. Uh, I'll stream some more, but um, for now, um, this has been Let's Play the Talos Principle. We uh, tried in World uh, in Hub Five to finish all the puzzles, but we failed for various reasons. Uh, but in any case, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.